Hey there, science fans. Today, let's travel back to the 1770s, a time when powdered wigs were stylish, and understanding of the air we breathe was, well, up in the air. Enter Joseph Priestley, a British chemist with a knack for curiosity and a burning candle. Buckle up as we explore Priestley's groundbreaking experiment connecting plants and the air we breathe. Get ready to uncover the secrets of plant power. Priestley discovered several gases, including one later known as oxygen. His experiments reshaped our understanding of chemistry and plant life. Picture this. A simple glass jar, a lit candle, and a tiny, unsuspecting mouse. These were the stars of Priestley's groundbreaking experiment. He placed a lit candle under a sealed glass jar and watched as the flame eventually flickered and died. Unsurprisingly, when he placed a mouse under the same conditions, it too met an unfortunate end. But Priestley didn't stop there. He repeated the experiment, this time adding a sprig of mint to the jar alongside the candle. And this is where things get interesting. With the plant inside, the candle burned for a longer duration before extinguishing. Similarly, a mouse placed in the jar with the plant survived for a longer period. What was going on here? The experiment, while simple in design, was profound in its implications. It hinted at an invisible interaction taking place within the sealed jar a silent exchange between the plant and its environment. Priestley, ever the astute observer, recognized that the plant was playing a crucial role in this mysterious phenomenon. Priestley observed that the candle extinguished faster and the mouse suffocated quicker when trapped alone in the jar. This suggested that something in the air was being consumed, something vital for both fire and respiration. The real head-scratcher came when the plant was introduced. The candle burned longer and the mouse survived, indicating the plant was replenishing the air. This was a revolutionary observation, hinting at the plant's ability to refresh the air. It suggested that air wasn't just an empty void, but a complex cocktail of gases. And here was this humble sprig of mint, seemingly manipulating this cocktail. Section 4. A Twig of Hope. The Plant's Impact. Now, for the plot twist. When Priestley introduced a plant into the equation, the game changed. The candle burned longer, and the mouse lived longer. The plant, it seemed, possessed a remarkable ability to revitalize the air, counteracting the effects of both the burning candle and the breathing mouse. What Priestley had stumbled upon was the process we now know as photosynthesis, though he wouldn't fully grasp its intricacies at the time. His experiment provided the first crucial clue to this life-sustaining process, revealing that plants do more than just sit there looking pretty. They actively interact with their environment, transforming the air around them. The presence of the plant seemed to tip the balance in favor of life. It was as if the plant possessed a secret weapon, an ability to counter the effects of respiration and combustion. Little did Priestley know, this secret weapon was oxygen, the very breath of life that he was so fascinated by. Section 5. The Oxygen Revolution. Unmasking the Mystery Gas. The mystery gas as we now know, was oxygen. The burning candle consumed oxygen, releasing carbon dioxide. Similarly, the mouse, in the process of breathing, used up oxygen and exhaled carbon dioxide. The plant, through photosynthesis, absorbed the carbon dioxide and released oxygen, replenishing the air and allowing the candle to burn and the mouse to breathe. Priestley's experiment paved the way for a revolution in our understanding of the natural world. It revealed the delicate balance that exists between plants and animals, a harmonious exchange of gases that is essential for life on Earth. It highlighted the crucial role of plants in maintaining this balance, making them the unsung heroes of our planet. This discovery was a game changer. It showed that plants weren't just passive inhabitants of our planet. They were actively involved in shaping their environment, making it habitable for other living beings. It was a groundbreaking revelation that underscored the interconnectedness of all life on Earth. Section 6. Green Machines. Celebrating the Significance. Priestley's experiment was like opening a window into the hidden world of plants, revealing their incredible ability to transform sunlight into energy and in the process, generate the very air we breathe. It was a pivotal moment in our understanding of plant biology and ecology, underlining the essential role of plants in sustaining life on Earth. So, next time you see a plant, take a moment to appreciate these green machines. They're not just pretty faces, they're the silent heroes working tirelessly to provide us with the oxygen we need to survive. They're the ultimate air purifiers, the architects of our atmosphere, and the unsung champions of life on Earth. And to think, it all started with a simple experiment, a curious mind, and a sprig of mint.